big, 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 big game in the English FA Cup final. And it's the game we've all been hoping for since the very beginning of this tournament. Manchester City versus Wigan. And former professional footballer turned current pundit Ian Five Ankles is at Wembley. Hi, Ian. Hi, Anthony. Ian, it feels like only yesterday you were dressed in a posh suit and walking out onto that hallowed turf yourself. <laughs> yes, I remember that day well. I always like to dress big for the occasion. Did you play on that occasion? No, I didn't actually play for either side, Anthony. I just bought a ticket alongside everyone else. I got lost coming out of the toilets and accidentally found myself on the pitch. The Football Association Cup. The magic of the trophy. Remember 1923, that white horse that got onto the pitch? Yes, it was strange of Bolton Wanderers to field a horse that day, but to be fair, it did pop up and nod home the winner. Interesting fact, his grandson is Martin Keown. How have both teams been preparing themselves for this game? Well, Man City have gone on a team bonding exercise to relax before the big occasion. They spent Friday morning at Laser Quest just by Finsbury Park. James Milner and Gareth Barry ran around giggling, firing at anything that moved. I think they were just happy to be able to make five yards without being tackled. James Milner obviously didn't get a single shot on target, but to be fair, that's not really the point of that day. What about Wigan? They've spent the run-up to this game in absolute fear. Are there any injury worries for either side? Plenty. Players are not robots, Anthony, not even on FA Cup final day. Joe Hart's having a late fitness test. They did try to give him an early fitness test, but he was still in bed. And Dave Whelan, the Wigan chairman, he broke his leg in the 1960 FA Cup final, and it's still not 100% recovered. Now, Ian, I've asked you to put on your underdog hat here. How on earth will Wigan cope with this Manchester City free-flowing magic attack? They can do many things, Anthony. Unfortunately, none of those many things are going to help them, and in fact some of them aren't even legal. James McCarthy is planning on doing a wee on his own foot in the tunnel in celebration of that bit in the film Gladiator. I'm not sure it's going to galvanise the team as much as he thinks it will. All eyes on Sergio Aguero like a giant fly. Is there anything that man can't do? Yes, he still can't work out which channel his television needs to be set to in order to watch Blu-ray. He tries AV, then goes to AV2, and then starts at channel 99 and cycles down through all of them before giving up in a half. The correct channel he should be using is HDMI 1. I know this because I've broken into his garden on many occasions and watched him through his window. Who should we bet on, Ian? We really should be betting on everything, Anthony. Mario Balotelli is 15 to 1 to fly over Wembley on a jetpack to remind everyone of his existence. And watch out for Yaya Torre. If he scores, he's planning on lifting up his shirt to reveal a picture of him and Alf from home and away, smoking cigars and looking pleased with themselves. It really is a very detailed and supremely accurate picture and the world deserves to see it. Who do you think will win? Manchester United, they'll find a way. Right, that's a totally nonsensical prediction. They're not even playing, but thanks, Ian. Or should I say, thanks, Ian. FA Cup, thanks. Fa is he still there? No, I'm, I'm still here. Uh, Anthony, I'm still Hi, here. Hi, Ian. Bye. Get him off. He hasn't got a ticket for that, has he? Don't let him in the ground. If I'm not allowed in, he's neither. Back to you.